ne budi glup, ne budi glup, ne budi glup, brate, ne budi glup, ne budi glup, ne budi glup, ne budi glup, brate, ne budi glup. Yeah, so, good evening, dobro veče, ladies and gentlemen, I got another no nonsense rant, I booked my ticket to Sarajevo real soon, a couple of days hopefully, so I'll see you lot soon. But in the meantime, I got a little thing that's bugging me, and that's this, the notion of McDonald's being built in Sarajevo. And a lot of people already probably know about my issue about this, because I've been talking about it for actually a few months now. You come to Sarajevo, you have like Burek, Ichivapi, that is the fast food that you want to be getting, man, when you go to Sarajevo. So when you got like Burek, Ichivapi, why build a McDonald's? Molim te, brate, molim te! Why? Don't do that man, there's no need for that. So, just a message to the franchise owners of, of the McDonald's. When I think of Sarajevo, I don't think McDonald's, I think good food. I think Dobro Haram, Brat. That's not McDonald's, yeah. Man, he's talking about Bosnia again, he's talking about Sarajevo again. Why is he doing that? Man, you probably didn't get it from the last time. So I'm going to have to explain it to you again. Man. You want to know why? Sarajevo Lubavi Moja That's right Good vibes Good food And brate moi Good women When it's warm Man It's hot It's like Beautiful weather Beautiful weather <laughs> A sutra vedro sa kojim oblačićem i koji stepenčić iznad nule. Tuzlanke od bogatim verenicima mogu samo da sanjaju i to na delimično oblačnom vremenu sa mogućom kojim... Man, let me know. Yeah, let's not get carried away. I'm forgetting I'm supposed to be talking about McDonald's. Have you, have you seen the Super Size, Super Size Me documentary? Go and watch that. Go and watch that. And you will see. McDonald's ain't real food. The dude, the experiment he did with the burgers and, and the fries, anyone who's seen that, and, and the fries, what was it, like 10 weeks and, and it didn't break down? And that's gonna be in your stomach when you eat McDonald's? Let's, let's, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real for a second. UK and, and Britain, our governments, are always talking about, oh my god, there's so much obesity, kids are getting obese. So there's a McDonald's in every corner in, 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 in America, there's McDonald's in every corner in Britain. Pretty much, I can speaking for London anyway, I can honestly say I can't think of a town that I've been to that doesn't have a McDonald's, man. Every corner in, you go, in, in Sarajevo, I see a beautiful woman. I, and that's being real, you can say it's being biased, but come to Sarajevo and you'll see what I'm talking about, man. Come to Bosnia, man, in general, yeah, you'll see. Every corner in, in Britain, there's a McDonald's, man. And then, they, then we're saying, people come here and say, oh my gosh, there's all these obese kids on the street. There's all these McDonald's on every corner. Yeah, there's, there's so many greasy looking people, greasy looking obese people. There's a McDonald's in every corner. And I'm not saying that McDonald's is the sole reason for obesity in, in, in Britain and America, but it can't help. Here's, here's my biggest thing about the McDonald's. Forget the fact that it's, it's rubbish food and it's, it's chemicalized nonsense, man. As, a, as, as somebody born in, in, in the Western world, as we, we like to call it whatever and I've been I've been guilty of this in, in the past myself is we have this habit or trend whatever you want to call it of traveling around traveling around go to I don't know it can be anywhere Germany Spain wherever it is that you're gonna go and from a British perspective one of the things we go oh where's, where's the fish and chip shop which is totally stupid why are you going to places you go to Egypt to eat fish and chips like just stay in England but if it's not the fish and chips it's the McDonald's Going around the world and then looking for the closest McDonald's. Come on, man. It would be a real shame if, if people start coming and visiting Sarajevo and looking for a McDonald's when the McDonald's is there and they'll find it if, because they're going to put a McDonald's in the center. Right? So they'll find it and they'll just be sitting in the McDonald's rather than eating the traditional food. Experiencing, that's part of the experience of traveling. Embed yourself in, in the culture and the food is part of it. Food is a very big part of people's culture, right? That's the way I look at it. And 
There's no need for McDonald's. Big Mac and fries equals corporate lies. Let's be real. Yeah, let's be real. It's not real food. Real food is Bodek, it's Chivapi. And there's more than that. But McDonald's, but on that, what's all of that, bro? It's nonsense, man. It's nonsensical. It's, it's nice that some places don't have a McDonald's. Does everywhere have to have a McDonald's? Everywhere doesn't need a McDonald's. Isn't it great that some people eat real food? Man, if you want to eat like Americanized, I guess let's call it, fast food, go to Costa Scoberto, right? There's a place called Dundee's. Man, ask my boy Morphin. Me and me and my boy Ennis, we went there all the time. I'll put, I'll put the address, I'll put the address somewhere on the screen. If you're in Sarajevo and you want to eat that Americanized Takeaway food, burgers, chips, pizzas, all that, yeah? Go to Dundee's, man. Like, there's probably some other good places as well, but I'd recommend Dundee's. I'll put the address there. And it's cool, man. It's, it tastes better. It's better for you. It's not chemicalized crap, yeah? And you'll enjoy it. And it's not expensive, man. It was like, what, three marks for... What was it like? You get, you get fries, you get a burger, chicken burger, and you get a drink. Like, for three marks. Yeah, man. man. How much is McDonald's here in UK? You're getting like a, a meal for like four pounds, which is going to be like, what, eight, eight marks something? And that's like, eight. I mean, if, they, if they're going to keep it real and keep the price is the same equivalent, it's going to be about that for a crappy burger and fries. Do you remember, I ain't going to lie, do you remember the Happy Meal when you were a kid? Do you remember, anyone remember the Happy Meal when you were a kid? You used to be so happy. I ain't going to lie, I used to be happy as well. But then I got older and I realised, man, what's so happy about this? You get a crappy fries, crappy burger, and a crappy toy. It's not a happy meal. It's a crappy meal. That's what it is. It's a crappy meal. And you eat it, and you're still hungry. And if these franchise owners uh, want to say that I'm talking nonsense or whatever, I'll tell them, Pushy Kuratz Brate. More or less, I think I've more or less covered most things. It's a pretty straightforward subject, really. About this McDonald's, but you know what? Anyone who actually leave your comments about the McDonald's, holler at me, like I said, let me know what's good if you want a McDonald's, if you don't. And yeah, man, that's all I can really say about it. Is there anything else to say? Now I'm gonna practice my singing. Vidimos. Sari evolupa vimoya